European Union foreign ministers have agreed to impose sanctions on seven officials from the Democratic Republic of Congo, whom they believe orchestrated violence against anti-government protesters. The measures include travel bans and asset freezes. They come into force immediately, as our Europe correspondent Jack Parrick reports. The EU's sanctions are to be put on four members of the Congolese Republican Guard, Army and Police Force, who the foreign ministers believe contributed to acts constituting serious violations of human rights in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The other three people that are getting sanctioned are senior figures who the EU says tried to obstruct consensual and peaceful solutions to the crisis and instead opted for violence. 50 people were killed in the Congolese capital, Kinshasa, back in mid-September, and the EU alleges the seven put on their blacklist may share some of the responsibility. The EU's position is that DRC President Joseph Kabila's mandate ends on December 19th, and that they're concerned about violations of fun on fundamental rights as that date approaches, and they're calling on Congolese authorities to ensure a smooth, peaceful and credible election. The warning from the European Union ministers is that without a clearly defined political framework, relations between the European Union and the Democratic Republic of Congo will suffer. Jack Parrick, CCTV, Brussels.